Hello. I've lived on this earth a wholesome 22 years. And throughout that time, I've learned just about two things. Follow me into this alley. One, we love to buy things. Continue. Two, we love to destroy. So I got to thinking, we being people who who buy and, and take and destroy and sell, what does what we buy say about who we are? And specifically, does what we consume become who we are? Today we're finding that out. So we're making our way over to the height of human consumerism, the Dollar General. And the Dollar General is a fascinating place for many reasons, one being that not everything in there costs a dollar, or ge not even generally a dollar, but vary from one dollar to maybe 25. I do think that they have the perfect selection of various items that any average American consumer might want. And I think it's time we get to the bottom of what it is that the American people are about. What do we have on the inside? There are a variety of wares for sale here. They like to keep a lot of things outside. Um, I'm not one for, um, for Mick Cafe or Gatorade personally. Um, and also not at the steep prices that I'm sure that they sell them for. But I am curious about what the majority of their wares look like on the inside. Interesting. Here we are, alone again. It's so interesting to me the different ways that being immersed in consumerism affects my senses, specifically my sense of smell, um, and specifically in the air freshener aisle. There are many lessons to be learned here. Speaking on, on speakerphone inside the Dollar General, um, I think can say a lot about who you are as a person. That's... So now we really have to start to dig deep. We have to say, how can we self-reflect when we are being endlessly bombarded by a subliminal imagery and Illuminati conspiracy? You can take your average fabuloso bleach alternative and you have to say, okay, first of all, let's get a close-up of this. 285. 285. Have you ever seen anything priced this specifically except for on the prices, right? 285. What does that say about the human race? You know, it started off with two. Now there's at least 85. Um, you know, Adam and Eve. And then also, look here on the back. Child safety cap. Child safety cap. Let's see. Damn, that's kind of like very well. But how safe really are our children? How safe do I feel for my child when they go out and try and drink bleach? Not, not too safe. I mean, not since last time. So here, this is, and this is very important. We have frosted s'mores pop tarts. However. Conveniently positioned right next to the brown sugar cinnamon and s'mores pop tarts, wild berry toaster pastries. Okay, so this is obviously our nation's way of ridiculing us and saying that it doesn't matter what it's titled or who creates it. We will we will eat anything as long as it's toasted, some sort of pastry, and has at least 17 grams. Uh, sugar per one pastry 17 grams and guess what for one dollar. This is the real kick. There are six servings per container So do the math here six servings per container 17 grams of sugar per serving One dollar for one dollar. You're 
getting at least 40, 45. You're getting at least 600 grams of sugar. One dollar. So we're gonna dig deep here. We're gonna really get to the bottom of this and see how much sugar is enough sugar. And also, is that sugar something that can be found on the inside? Okay, this is, I was, I, was, I was expecting that we would find something like this. So we have the Disney Princess Rapunzel, or Reponce. So, um, I just get a little bit emotional when we come to these sorts of, these sort of, um, this sort of subject matter. Just because I was raised as a, as a young white child, and so I know what it's like to be, to have the idea forced down your throat that you are young and white. So to see that this is endlessly being advertised throughout all American stores, um, that you have, in order to be pretty, you have to be white, and also that you have to be named Rapunzel or Réponse. I think that's something that really needs to be torn apart, dissected, and something to change for our future. What kind of sick joke is this? Are you kidding me? Do the Americans think that it's funny to make fun of flatulence? What do you see here? At first, maybe a, a, a very simple cupping mechanism, you know, designed by the US to um, make women feel discontent. Um, but let's really break down the symbolism in here. Follow me. So, right here we have the Bobby and Brooks ladies demi bra. A demi bra. Not a full bra, not a, not a, not a Britney Spears bra. A demi bra. And look, this girl doesn't look anything like Demi Lovato. So I don't understand why they're trying to force women into thinking that the only way to be pr pretty or show their boobs is to be like Demi Lovato, especially after what's been happening recently. God rest her soul. I think it's something that we have to get to the bottom of, and um, I think there's a lot of stuff to break down here. So I think I've been in this location long enough. I'm starting to feel like everything on me has a price tag, and I'm starting to feel like a byproduct of American consumerism and society. And so that being said, Let's pay for all of these goods and take them back to our, our house to enjoy. did to make sure that you didn't mess with Dollar General. And I said, that, my dear, is the byproduct of American consumerism. Also, I think, <laughs> so I really think that's really reflective of American consumerism. <laughs> the way to buy <laughs> My grandpa died from one or two. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much for watching part one of this video. <laughs> if you want to watch part two, go ahead and click right here. Or probably just wait because it'll probably be the next video on. Or if you want to watch any more of my content, go ahead and click right here.